day. Water saving in Australia has become second nature to us all, but an oversupply of H2O in New Zealand, a small country off our east coast, is causing a major crisis. To avoid the entire nation flooding, they're having to embark on an extremely important water wasting campaign. Yes, there has been a mock-up. <laughs> call me a doll, call me a silly bully, call me a duckhead. I slipped up. How does a country end up with too much water? Most of New Zealand is blaming this man. Our water catchments are beginning to overflow because six months ago I initiated a water saving campaign, H2NO, which on the hindsight was a little extreme. I'll give you that. Especially because we didn't have to save water at all. I just heard they were doing it in Australia and thought, hey, we want to be Australians. With too much water, New Zealand now faces a major catastrophe. As a scientist, I have little doubt that New Zealand's in a dreadful situation. Our water catchments will overflow and it will be horrific. Quick, you look at this. Destruction, flooding, a bit more destruction, a fire. Goodbye, New Zealand. Goodbye. To avoid the drowning of four million New Zealanders, the Minister has decided to abandon his water saving campaign. It has backfired severely, uh, but don't worry, I've initiated a water wasting campaign. H2Flow, let's get rid of that water. One of the many people now embracing this astonishing campaign is water wasting activist, Tim Plimpton. I'm 110% behind the government's water wasting campaign. If New Zealand floods, that'll be terrible. I mean, Kevin Costner's Waterworld was a brilliant film, not a King Kong or a whale rider, but still a terrific flick but I would not want that to be a reality. I'm naturally charismatic, so I've taken it upon myself to make sure everyone's doing their bit. Oi, Fru, I thought I told you yesterday to stop sweeping down your driveway and use your hose. Get out of my face, Plimpton. I'll get out of my face when you get with the program, Jimmy. Piss off! Look, I know there's a problem, but I do my bit. Just because I'm sweeping out the front doesn't mean I don't have the tap running out the back. I don't, but I could. Leave me alone. Get off my property. You're making a big mistake. Oh, you're making a big you mistake. You are an embarrassment. Friend. Don't you call me an embarrassment. You're an embarrassment. I didn't want to have to use my physical advantage, but I'm about to. You're in for a big surprise here, my friend. Hey, don't you get onto my no. property. Get off I have to lead by example sometimes. For instance, I'm a bit of a handyman, and I've uh, fitted with a loo. It's got a half flush and a full flush, but I've put in a continuous flush. Hey, <laughs> how much time have you got on that thing, big fella? Because this will go on all day like that. Here's another tub. Kids can be very, very negligent, so you want to keep an eye on the length of their showers. Paul, how long do you think you're in there for? 45 minutes? 38. Got back in there and did a full hour. Oh, Dad. No, I'm serious. You know, this country, 22 minutes of water wasting. Got in there. Go. I want to see you very wrinkly. Look, it's imperative that all the taps in the house are running 24 hours a day. But what I've done is I've installed even more taps in around the sink. Oh, yeah. Hey, Paul, Paul, come here. Paul. How many dudes you know flow like this? How many dudes you know flow like this? Not many. Of any. Not many. Of any. Hip hop. Oh, you love hip hop? Paul loves hip hop. This is something I've been working on. Big magnifying glass that swings out over the pool to evaporate it all. So uh, I've been told if the, the kids are in the pool with the magnifying glasses up, that could potentially give them third degree burns or ball them alive. So, huh? It doesn't really pass safety rigs. No swimming in the pool with the magnifying glasses up full. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Keep it on. Keep it on. Use your head. Funk. A large component of the campaign's success has been the Dobbin a Water Saver initiative. Have a look here. Essentially, we just want every New Zealand citizen to be, well, a bit of a snut. <laughs> yep. Hello. Yep. It's Tim again. Hi. Um, yeah, look, there's another man in Chestnut Avenue who's not wasting enough water. He's washing his car with a bucket. No hose. Yep. And I, uh, I can't tell you how I know this, but he's, uh, he's having some three minute showers with his wife to save water. Yeah, send someone, please. Thank you. And while this initiative has wasted a lot more water, it has caused yeah. some division within the community. Yeah. Yep, got yeah. him. But, but who told you I wasn't wasting enough water? Yeah, here, mate. Your friend Ryan. Right oh, shut, 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 shut. They said I'd be anonymous. I'm proud of our citizens. I thought to myself, water, great effort. <laughs> you get it? Water, great? 
<laughs> oh, I can't claim that. It was in a Friday funny email I received yesterday. But if we waste too much water, I've got this. H2O. <laughs> Stop wasting. Brilliant. Since we shot that story, the catchments did overflow. There are reports of three Australians missing, as well as three or four hundred thousand New Zealanders, but three missing Aussies. Awful.